It's game day for GB against Switzerland, but already going on behind us, the host Czechia in action. And that's why there's lots of fans in this fan zone, a vast area, a special area for people to come and meet and look at merchandise and have a beer. And obviously the passionate support here is very evident of the home fans. What a great Britain over the past couple of days. They may have had no games, but they've been practicing on both days. And that very special team photo day. The players suit up, the staff suit up as well. And a very special day as the team photo is taken. What of Greek GB then in action tonight? A first World Championship appearance for Sean Norris this evening, and Sam Ruop comes back into the lineup. Let's find out what happened with Aaron Murphy and Paul Lady. Cycles it to Yossi, Roman Yossi. Always calm and cool on the puck. Sven Andrigetto gets it ahead. Need a rider in, need a rider. Well, there's going to be a penalty on GB. I wonder if it'll be a penalty shot. We will wait for the puck to get touched up. Kevin Fiala will take flight. An NHL goal scorer turned aside by Whistle. Well, Fiala, 29 goal scorer with the LA Kings. And Jackson Whistle says, I don't care. Take that puck out of here. Well, that's about the only spot Fiala had to shoot was stick side, but he just doesn't get a good shot away. Whistle has it covered, keeps that foot down on the ice and just kicks it away from the net. Gonna get a line change here as well as Fiala sends it back. It's kept in at the line by Heeshear. Fiala, hard angle shot and it's gonna be in. Well, Fiala and company were buzzing around the net. A hard angle shot gets up and over Jackson Whistle. Again, Murphy, just good puck movement from the Swiss and they've had GB hemmed in on a few shifts early in this first period. The puck landed on Heeshear's stick and he just knocked it, knocked it in the back of the net. Thank you. Herzog for Simeon. Simeon had a breakaway a few moments ago, could not find the back of the net. Here's Siegenthaler. Siegenthaler to Kukin. Kukin scores! And yeah, Kukin just let that one rip and uh, Whistle got his glove on it, but it just seemed to bounce out of his glove and into the net. And good pressure again from the Swiss three men right on top of that puck. Siegenthaler gets it wide to Kukin. He just has a look. Gets a high wrist shot in there. Whistle gets his glove up. It just trickles over the top of his glove into the back of the net. Need a rider. All the way back to Yossi. Pick your poison here. Every guy out here at NHL All-Star. Here's Yossi. Walks the line. Goes to Fiala. Fiala cross ice. Need a rider. Scores. Need a rider. Rips it home. Power play goal. Switzerland. It's a nice pass across. You know, knowing that uh, from Fial and knowing that it could get intercepted, but he makes a hard pass. And when you make a hard pass, it's a lot harder to uh, hit Whistle and just trickles in again. And uh, Whistle tried to come across, just couldn't uh, get enough of that one to keep it out of the back of the net. Chuck, a 3-0 defeat against the seventh best team in the world. How, how do you break that game down? Uh, you know, I thought, you know, they put on a big push in the first period, but loved our response. Um, it was great from the standpoint, you know, I think shots were 13-9 in the last two periods, and there's a lot of great things to build on. We've talked about this tournament being a, a building process for this group, and I think you can see the positive steps we took tonight, especially in the second and third period. They're a very resilient group. They've been here before in 2019 and found a way to stay up. Do you see that belief in them that even though the early results haven't gone their way, that they've got that character? 100%. You know, I think the biggest thing, we're getting chances, we're just not finishing the chances. You know, so we know we still have a lot of opportunities out there to do some great things. Um, you know, we know there's a couple of things we can clean up, but I th again, this group love their resiliency, love their abilities to, to take coaching and execute coaching. We made some subtle adjustments to our game, especially in the second half, and proud of the way the boys handled those adjustments. Can you take positives as well after the last game? It was an 8-0 defeat and they, they came out and, and as we mentioned, they kept it tight at times, created some good scoring chances. You know, kind of touching on what I said before, but do you, do you, do you look at those positives and maybe drill that into guys to say, hey, you're on the right path? 100%. You, you have to continue on that path. You know, you can't get sidetracked in any way, shape, or form. This is a long tournament. We have a lot of hockey still left ahead of us here, and I still think we have a lot of better games ahead of us. So you can see the steps that we're taking through our neutral zone and our D zone to slow down some pretty talented teams, and then it's allowing us to create some chances, draw some penalties. Um, I don't think we had a power play against Finland, and tonight I think we had five. So, you know, from that standpoint, we're putting ourselves in situations to give ourselves offensive opportunities. 
Just personally, it's clear to everyone how proud you are to, to be with GB. What's it been like for this tournament? We're playing in, a, in an amazing arena. What's it been like for you? It's been fantastic. This is something that's been a goal of mine for a long time, ever since I first helped the team in Croatia uh, when Pete gave me the first call in that situation. And, you know, the biggest thing for me is doing whatever I can to help this group. It'd be a support to Pete and Corey and Ewan and, you know, give these guys as much of my knowledge as that I can and, and help us give a chance, the best opportunity we have to stay up in Group A. Thank you.